a marvelous evening to everyone i am raghavini of 9th standard and my guide teacher is n madhu sir i am belongs to zilla parishad high school indranagar siddipet telangana today i am here to explain a topic about math essential ad aptitude addition subtraction multiplication etc in this session i want to discuss about math essential addition subtraction and multiplication part 4 now let us recap what we have learnt in earlier classes in earlier classes we have learnt about the multiplication multiplication means repeated addition the cross is the symbol for multiplication the cross is also read as into or as times now let us discuss some examples on this concept first repeated addition of 4 it means 4 is repeated for 5 times it means 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals to 20 it means 5 into 4 is equals to 20 now it can be read as 5 into 4 or 5 times 4 is equals to 20 now let us learn a new concept that is multiplication of 0 1 into 0 equals to 0 0 and 2 into 0 equals to 0 plus 0 equals to 0 and 3 into 0 equals to 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 and 4 into 0 equals to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 and so on by these examples we can conclude that any number multiplied with 0 is always 0 now let us see an example one that is multiplication in verbal method that is 42 into 15 before solving the problem we have to arrange the numbers according to their place values that means ones tens etc now let us solve it first of all we have to arrange the numbers according to their place values like ones place and tens place in 42 the ones place number is 2 and in 15 the ones place number is 5 now let us solve it first of all we have to take ones place and then we have to solve tens place now 2 into 5 is or 5 into 2 is 10 and we have to place zero at the down side of the 5 and take a carry at the tens place and then we have to solve tens place and 5 into 4 is 20 and we have a carry 1 20 plus 1 is 21 and the answer is 210 now let us solve it one tens place and we have to keep zero must and should because we for our easy calculation and 1 into 2 is 2 we have to place 2 at down side of the 1 and 1 into 4 is 4 now 2 ten and 4 20 all of you have a doubt why we keep zero in earlier slide now i can clarify your doubt with one example that is 42 into 15 in 15 the tens place value is 1 and the 10 has only one zero before solving the tens place we have to keep only one zero if we are solving hundreds place we have to keep two zeros and before solving thousands place we have to keep three zeros in this way we have to increase zeros then according to place value for easy calculation i think now understand your problem now we have to sum up the both values that is 2 and 420 Zero plus zero is zero, and one plus two is three. Two plus four is six. Now the answer of forty-two into fifteen is six hundred and thirty. And we have to move the activity one. That is in earlier slide. Why we add in problem in solving of forty-two into fifteen within this problem. we have added the values of the calculation all of you have a doubt why we are added in this calculation now i can clarify your doubt with one activity in this activity ajay brings water from a well for his family and he draws 12 buckets of water every day the in this case ajay brings water from the well for his family and he draws 12 buckets of water in that well every day now the question is he brings two buckets and he pours two buckets of water to the plants and he takes 10 buckets for his family and the question is 
how many buckets of water does he have to draw for 15 days it is repeated for 15 days it means the 15 into 12 it means 15 days into 12 buckets is equals to how much now we can solve it 15 into 12 is also written as 15 into 2 plus 15 into 10 the 12 can be written as 2 plus 10 it means he draw two buckets of water for his plants and he takes 10 buckets of water for his family in this way the 12 can be written as 2 plus 10 Now let us solve it in also verbal method. Fifteen into twelve, and two into five is ten. Place the carry at tens place, and two into one is two. Two plus one is three, and one. And we have to place the zero at downside of the zero before solving the tens place. And one into five is five, and one into one is one. Now let us sum up the values. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus five is eight, and one. Now let us solve it in another method. 15 into 2 plus 15 into 10, and 15 into 2 is 30. 15 into 10 is 150, and 30 plus 150 is 180. Both are same answers. Now the answer is he has to draw 180 buckets of water for 15 days. Now let us see an activity two. In this activity, the case is a milkman delivers one packet of milk every day. Each packet cost twenty four rupees. How much does it cost for a year? In this case, one milkman is there and he delivers a, one packet of milk each day, and each packet cost twenty four rupees. We have to find the cost for a year. Now let us see. One milk packet cost twenty four rupees, and the one year contains three sixty five days. And we have understood that three sixty five days into twenty four. It means one year into twenty-four. Now let us solve it in verbal method. First of all, we have to arrange the numbers according to their place values, like ones, tens, and hundreds. Now we have to solve first ones place, and then tens place, and then hundreds place. In twenty-four, the ones place is four, and in three sixty-five, the ones place is five. Now let us solve it. Four into five is twenty. We have to place zero at downside of the four and take a carry at tens place as two. And four into six is twenty. And twenty plus two is four into six is twenty-four. And twenty-four plus two is twenty-six. And place the six at downside of the two and place a carry at hundreds place. And four into three is twelve. And twelve plus two is fourteen. And the ones place answer is one thousand four hundred and sixty. Now let us solve in tens place. And we have to place zero before solving the problem of tens place. It is much tens too. And two into five is ten. We have to place zero at downside of the six and place a carry at tens place. And two into six is twelve. Twelve plus one is thirteen. And place the three at downside of the four and place a carry at hundreds place. And two into three is six. Six plus one is seven. Now let us sum up the both values. That is. One thousand four hundred and sixty plus seven thousand three hundred. That means zero plus zero is zero, and six plus zero is zero. Four plus three is seven, and one plus seven is eight. Now the answer of three sixty-five into twenty-four is eight thousand seven hundred and sixty. And the answer is milk cost rupees eight thousand seven hundred and sixty for a year. Now let us move to example two. That is, we have to solve one yet, one not yet into three twenty four in verbal method. Now let us solve it. Before solving the question, we have to place the numbers according to their place values. Now we have to solve first ones place and tens place and then hundreds place. Four into eight is thirty two, and place the two at downside of the four, and four and keep the three at the tens place. And four into zero is zero. We have concluded that. Any number is multiplied with zero is always zero, and four into zero is zero, and zero plus three is three. Now four into one is four. The answer of ones place is four hundred and thirty-two. Now let us solve for tens place. Two into first before we are solving the problem, we have to keep zero downside of the two in ones place, and then we have to solve the tens place. Two into eight is sixteen, and place the six at downside of the three. And put the carry at tens place. 
and 2 into 0 is always 0 any number is multiplied with 0 is always 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1 and lest we have to solve for hundreds place before solving the hundreds place we have to keep two zeros and then we have to solve it 3 into 8 is 24 and place the 4 at down side of the 1 and the plus the 2 at carry as tens place and 3 into 0 is 0 and 0 plus 2 as carry is 2 And three into one is three. Now let us sum up the both values. Two plus zero plus zero is two, and three plus six plus zero is nine, and four plus one plus four is nine, and two plus two is four, and three is as this. Now the answer of four ninety eight into three twenty four is thirty four thousand nine hundred and ninety two. Now I want to say one fun fact in this session because of easy learning. That is. 2 into 3 equals to how much it means the 3 is repeated for 3 times 2 times or 2 times 3 it means 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 and the 2 into 3 is 6 now let us discuss another 3 3 into 2 is equals to how much and the 2 is repeated for 3 times and 3 times 2 it means 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 and 3 into 2 is 6 by this example we can conclude that 2 into 3 equals to 6 and 3 into 2 equals to 6 it means 2 into 3 equals to 3 into 2 2 now let us see another examples 5 into 9 equals to 45 and 9 into 5 equals to 45 6 into 7 equals to 42 and 7 into 6 equals to 42 like that 2 into 10 equals to 20 and 10 into 2 equals to 20 more examples now we can observe this pattern in the multiplication tables it is some fun fact in this session we have learned about multiplications repeated addition and cross symbol is used for multiplication and how it can be read as and any number is multiplied with zero is zero and etc and thank you for watching my presentation and a special thanks to sampath sir and velta varangal for giving this wonderful opportunity and thank you teachers and my dear lovely brothers and sisters i am akshya of class 9 here to give a presentation on bitcoin so friends uh, firstly i think we all are aware of uh, some of the things like data through internet online payments and online shopping right so these all are some of the things uh, where when firstly many people thought that uh, maybe it's fake and many people uh, they did, they didn't try to use such uh, facilities or things but we after few days these all have became a part of our life uh, like when we see data through internet uh, most of the information is available through data or through internet so and even online payments like uh, in this present situation where only 8% of money is in physical form and remaining is totally in digital form so by this we can uh, say how online payments are increasing when online shopping most of the people are using so even we are using these all right so in that way even bitcoin is also one of the uh, idea like we can say one of the amazing idea so which is known as cryptocurrency but uh, where many people don't know what actually bitcoin is and many people are not coming uh, for like we can say they are not coming forward to use this Uh, but where in our future generations this bitcoin will be a part of our life right so even uh, where but where we can't see this or uh, touch this bitcoin uh, but where in starting there is no much value for this but in this present situation one bitcoin value is equals to 15 lakhs and in 2008 october a document which is related to bitcoin is published in online and which is released by satoshi nakamoto and where he has developed this bitcoin in a systematic manner and coming to this uh, simply we can say this bitcoin is an internet money and where we can't represent uh, bitcoin with any particular thing any like such particular thing and where we can't see or touch that but uh, we uh, when we see for example in our country the rupee is controlled by rbi so in that way every country's currency will be controlled by its uh, particular central bank right 
But where this Bitcoin is totally different from that and where no particular state or country can control this. And even there is no particular organization to control. Like uh, simply we can say it is a decentralized currency. Like and uh, for example, as we know that one rupee is equals to 100 paisa. So similarly, one Bitcoin is equals to 10 crores Satoshis. Uh, for example, if we want to uh, send 1000 rupees to anybody, so instead of uh, sending that, we have to send particular Satoshis, which is required to 1000 rupees. And uh, one more thing is that Satoshi Nakamoto kept one rule that 21 million Bitcoins should be there. And because of that, because of this, uh, the demand for Bitcoin is increased. And like many well-developed countries are using this. So now let's see uh, how the transaction process is going to be in this. So there is a process which is known as Bitcoin mining. We generally, uh, sorry. So uh, we generally, if we send money to anybody, the bank or companies like v Visa or PhonePay will be playing a mediator role, right? right? So, but where uh, this Bitcoin mining process is completely different from that, where there is no particular organization in this process. So here the Bitcoin mining process will be verifying the transaction process. So the person who involved in this uh, mining process are called miners. And if a person wants to send money to other person, so in that time gap, uh, there, a math, there a block will be created, which includes a mathematical problem. So in that, uh, these Bitcoin miners should solve that mathematical problem. And after that problem solving, he should add that block to the blockchain ledger. Friends, uh, when we see this, blockchain uh, will be playing an important role where the data uh, regarding every transaction will be stored in this blockchain and when we see the most important important or uh, beneficial thing is that no one can hack this because uh, where we can hack one or two devices like right but where we can't hack uh, and it is difficult to hack all or every device which is included in this bitcoin and after every mining process a new bitcoin will be created and that miner will be using this bitcoin so the use of bitcoin is that uh, it will play both roles uh, one is currency and other thing is that payment network uh, like uh, when we see our uh, rupee is currency and phone pay or visa are payment networks right but we're uh, coming to Bitcoin, it will be playing both roles and transaction charges will be low. Uh, like if we want to send money uh, through foreign countries or the people who are in the foreign, uh, the transaction charges will be high. And even we have to follow some of the rules and uh, regulations which are given by the government. But uh, this will not include such things. And uh, friends, firstly, do you know one thing that uh, in our India, RBI said that using cryptocurrency or Bitcoin is illegal. But after a few days, they came to know that uh, in some of the well-developed countries, the usage of Bitcoin is more. And so because of that, the RBI uh, again said that using Bitcoin uh, is not a big issue and it is not a legal thing. So let's see what changes are going to take place. And even after a few days, maybe this Bitcoin will be a part of our life. It's not only Bitcoin, still there are uh, many such things or uh, technical or technological, um, but where regarding these uh, payments and transactions, but where it might lead to a world currency. So this is an amazing idea. So let's see what changes are going to take place. So friends, this is a thing I just want to share with you and thank you so much. First and foremost, I thank Sambat sir for giving me such an amazing opportunity and friends, I really thank you so much for listening towards me. Thank you.